You know him, your parents know him, and most likely your grandparents too. One of the most well-known, if not the most well-known and famous video game mascots of all gaming. Your favorite plumber with a red hat, blue dungarees and iconic mustache. Super Mario. To give credit to one of gaming's dinosaurs, I listed up some things about him and his franchise. The first ever Super Mario game was simply titled Super Mario Bros and was developed by Shigeru Miyamoto and his team. In Japan, it was released on the 13th of September 1985 for the Famicom, the Nintendo family computer. The whole of Europe, however, had to wait two more years before the milestone of video game history was released there. To this day, the franchise has sold over 387 million copies of their games to players all over the world. Since the Super Mario games are one of the oldest and longest running game franchises, there are now over 200 games that feature Mario as the main protagonist or as a side character. Before the release of the Super Mario Bros. movie in 2023, which was a huge success, there was a not so successful Super Mario Bros. movie released in 1993, which is considered to be the first ever movie based on a video game. Mario actually was not called Mario in the first place. In his first appearance in Donkey Kong, he was the Jumpman, obviously because of the fact that he jumped over obstacles. The name Mario came from Mario Segale, who was the landlord of the building where Nintendo of America was located. Unfortunately, he passed away in 2018, but the everlasting impression he left remains to this day. Did you know that Mario is more or less a jack of all trades? Next to his initial occupations as a carpenter and plumber, he appeared as a doctor, a racer, a martial artist, a baseball player, a soccer player and a basketball player. Mario's nemesis at first was supposed to be an ox and not Bowser. Miyamoto wanted an ox because he got inspired by a cartoon called Alkazam the Great, but his colleague Tezuka suggested a turtle instead. So they worked together and created the evil Koopa King, Bowser. After the huge success of the original Super Mario game, Nintendo produced a sequel, Super Mario Bros. 2. Yet, it was never released by the US division because it was deemed to be too similar to the original and too difficult for the local player base in comparison to the prequel. If you did not know what Mario's full name was, I will tell you. As a part of a festival celebrating 30 years of Mario in 2015, it was announced once and for all that the hero Plumber's full name is indeed Mario Mario. Yeah, his first and last name are indeed identical. Consequently, his brother Luigi's last name is Mario too. Shigeru Miyamoto came out and confirmed and in his original 80s game appearances, Mario is roughly 24 to 25 years old, eliminating the common conception that he is a middle-aged man. Not going to lie, the toll on the body all the jumping and punching blocks would take on someone, it is a fitting age. The voice actor for Mario, Charles Martinet, who has also voiced Luigi, Mario, Waluigi and more Mushroom Kingdom characters since 1995 showed up uninvited to the audition at the Las Vegas trade show. He was urged by a friend to do so. When he showed up, the audition crew was already in the progress of putting away their gear, but they still allowed him to try out for the role and it paid out. His recorded tape was the only one the crew sent back to the Nintendo headquarters. From that point on, he was responsible for all those sounds you get nostalgia from. With the franchise running for 35 years and still going strong, Mario has broken a lot of records throughout the years. The voice of Mario, Charles Martinet, holds the record for the most video game voiceover performances as the same character. Furthermore, Mario holds the record for the most prolific video game character, the record for the longest running video game character, and the record for the best selling video game series of all time. Like serious man, whoever did this, you might you're a genius, real, real genius.